So the weekly dreaded spelling test is coming up yet again and you feel like you've practiced with the child and they still don't seem to remember the spellings of words. You feel like you've practiced every night that you have read out the spelling and they've repeated it back to you. And some nights it goes really well and they remember. And then the next night they've just completely forgot. And you can't understand why this is happening. How can they know one minute and next minute they don't? Well, for dyslexic children, this is quite common because it can take a lot for information to go into their long-term memory. So one minute they can remember, but because it hasn't gone into their long-term memory, then it can they can easily forget. And it can seem then like they're being lazy and like they don't care. And that's where labels like this come from. But for a dyslexic child to take in information to help them remember it for a long time, they need to learn something up to 10 times before they will remember it. So with my daughter, we had the spelling test every single week and she was struggling. So I knew I had to find a way to practice spelling in 10 different ways that was fun. So I came up with the rule of 10 card. Because my little girl, she just gets so bored so easily. She loses focus. And if it seems like schoolwork, she doesn't always want to do it. So this card was all about practicing spellings in 10 fun different ways. And a lot of that is about getting up and getting away from the desk. So we're going to learn how to spell the word water today. And that's a word that I struggled with as a child. I just could not remember how to spell it. So the first one to try on the list is to simply to say the spelling. So simply say the spelling to the child. W -a -t -a -r. And then get the child to say it back to you. The next one to try is to shout it. So say w -a -t -a -r. And then get the child to shout it back to you. And the card contains loads of other fun things that you can work through. So they're all about getting away from the desk. So there's things like spelling the word out with your arm. W, A, T, E, R. And then some silly challenges like spelling the word out using your tongue. When we play this with my little girl, she always really, really laughs when we do the tongue one and she thinks it's really, really fun. So that's a great way for them to learn the same piece of information, the same spelling in 10 different fun ways. And once you've done all 10, then get them to spell the word on their own and practice every night and try different words every night but what I would say is just learn one word per day if you want to help them best learn.